Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy JDRFT and welcome back to another pretty crazy video. Today we are back and better than ever. And obviously, I think you guys know what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about my 2020 experience, guys. You know, just like how we did in 2019 and 2018. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. 2019 felt so long. But 2020 just zoomed by. Like, from the first day to the last, it just, just completely zoomed through. Like, it doesn't even feel like 2020 even existed. It just felt like January, February, March... December like I, I don't even know to be honest I will say it's been very eventful very very eventful and so I'm going to be explaining my experience of 2020 in four different categories I'm gonna be put up on screen right now um, and I'm gonna put different timestamps so if you guys want to skip through feel free but if you guys want to watch the entire thing go ahead and do so so without any further ado guys let's get right into the video Okay, when I say this, I think we all could agree that 2020 had the worst start to any New Year's ever. We got freaking World War 3, COVID-19, Australia fires, killer beads. Like, how do, do all of these events kind of add up at the very start of 2020? Not to mention all the significant deaths that happened in 2020 like Pop Smoke, Chadwick Boseman, Kobe Bryant, and George Floyd. Like, it's just crazy. Like, deaths do happen. But the fact that so many people who are significant had to happen all at once is just crazy in my opinion. On New Year's Eve, I had the mindset that I was going into 2020 with a clear mind and like I was gonna get things done like smoothly and efficiently, you know? Like I, I had goals on my phone that I made the day of. Like I, I was like gonna get a job, I was gonna get my driver's license, I was gonna get fit. All these good things were gonna happen to me. But no, but no, th th it didn't happen. I mean, some of them did happen. And like, you know, there was some good, but it was just, it was bad. It, I, I will say that, like, it, it was just bad for me and bad for most people with all this shit going on. Excluding what was happening around the world, the thing that I had to focus on was trying to get into university or college. And by doing that, I had to do decent in my grade 11 year and just, just, just try to focus on it, you know, because although it's not my main marks when I go into grade 12, it's definitely going to impact in a way because you're going to have to take about six uh, university or mixed courses so they can determine if I'm going to be accepted. Despite school and everything that was going around around the world, I surprisingly did have a fun time at the very start of 2020. Now, it did carry on from 2019 to 2020 where I hanged out with a lot of my friends. Um, not new friends, but they were the same people, but I just didn't really get close to them. And throughout November, December, January, and February, I felt like I got really close with a lot of people and I created new bonds and like long lasting relationships with my friends and i feel like i've gotten closer than ever which was really cool to me and a really good experience going back to 2020 everything from january to march was actually perfect and everybody was chilling having a great time but then something bad happened two patients from the same family in england have tested positive for coronavirus the first cases to be recorded about the deadly Britain. coronavirus the officially hitting the U.S. Here's what we know. Tonight, U.S. Cases a Washington state resident fell ill after returning from Wuhan, China, in where the outbreak and began. Officials now say Arizona. more than 400 the people CDC have been sick. If you guys thought that 2020 couldn't get any worse, then you guys are dumb because COVID-19 slaps everyone right at the face from the start. At the very start, everything was going smoothly until we hear that the first case of coronavirus lands in the US. This was around the very start of the January, probably like around 13, 15, actually mid of January. And basically COVID-19 is a deadly virus, which would give you a couple of symptoms. You know, you would have a fever, dry cough or tiredness, but then it would completely manifest into this huge, huge, fever you know you probably can't breathe as much it's basically just the common symptoms but 
even more exaggerated. It's more crazier. It's it's more deadlier. Okay, people thought that it was the flu. It's not the flu. It's gonna kill you, man. It, it's really gonna kill you. It's deadly. It's scary. And at first, a lot of people weren't as scared of it. And you know, people were just making fun of it. I'm not gonna lie. I think I made fun of it. No, no, I don't think I did make fun of it. Obviously, and I think a lot of people did because they didn't think it was that serious, and they were probably gonna think it stayed in China. But no, it spread globally and it turned into a pandemic and it ruined everything for everyone. Events closed down, people couldn't hang out with each other, work, the work environment slowed down, and even the economy slowed down as a whole, which is crazy. It stopped everything from happening. Not to mention, there was a lot of people dying, people were getting sick, and it caused people to wear masks, which is such a new thing to a lot of people. I know a lot of people in Asia, tend to wear masks but for people that live in Canada or the US it's probably such a different experience to actually do for the first time. For my experience, since COVID-19 was getting crazier in my area in Canada, schools had to close down which led us to having to stay home for about two weeks um, after March break just so then we could slow down the virus. That's what everybody thought, the virus was going to get better, everything was going to go back to normal and we go back to school. Little did everyone know that it actually lasted for two and a half months, which brings us to quarantine. Wait, wait. Dude, you could, you could grab bomb and teleport to C. Oh, wait. <laughs> Yo, you I could grab bomb and run C, run C. Wait, did he actually see that? Because that's all right. bro. What is this guy? That's all right. He's a, he's oh my god, what? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I honestly didn't think she was gonna win that. No, I believe, believe. Since the pandemic was getting worse, the schools had to close down and we had to stay home. And so initially we were supposed to stay home for two weeks so then we could stop the spread and we were hoping that everything would go back to normal because that's what doctors said. But we actually ended up staying inside our houses for months from March all the way to June. At first, it seems like a really good idea because we don't have to do any schoolwork at all and we could just chill. But in reality, after a couple of weeks, it started to get really repetitive. I would just wake up, I would play games, I would eat, I would talk to people, and I would go to sleep. I know a lot of people had a lot of struggles during quarantine, like lack of motivation, having a boring lifestyle, and of course, mental health. Personally for me, I actually just had a boring lifestyle. I didn't really have to deal with any mental issues or any sort of lack of motivation i was doing well it's just i didn't really have much to do and i would just get bored really easily i would always constantly think about wanting to go outside and hang out with my friends and just do something but i would completely disregard all the good things that were happening in my life i didn't have to do schoolwork. i played as many games as i want watch as many shows as i want and i had a lot of free time i think the biggest highlight definitely was playing valorant playing minecraft playing animal crossing watching Harry Potter and completely finishing it for the first time, and watching Steven Universe, of course. These five things were the things that made up my quarantine and made it a little bit better for me to get through. And after waiting so many weeks and for a couple of months, we finally made it to summer. After so many months, I finally got to go out and hang out with my friends. Now at first, you know, we tried not to hang out with as many people and we tried to social distance, but as the cases went down in my area, everyone started to get together and we started hanging out a lot. After quarantine, we finally did so much. I went to my friend's house, we went to the beach, we went to the mall, obviously following uh, COVID-19 protocols by wearing the mask. We finally did all these things after quarantine because we've been stuck for so long. This was the greatest feeling as I didn't have to stay in all the time. I finally started doing stuff. I started being more productive IRL. In July, the only games that I played were Fall Guys and Minecraft because I was going out too much. And the only anime I finished was the entire series of Jojo. I was having too much fun going outside that I didn't have any time for myself, which is something I really don't mind because I got to see my friends again. Luckily enough, I actually got to celebrate my birthday with my friends and I ended up getting three amazing gifts from my friends. So two of them were a t-shirt, a Boku no Hero one, and a plain one from my friend Randy and Jennifer. And I got an Elgato HD60S Plus by everyone because they all chipped in. And honestly, that was such an amazing gift because now I can finally record good gameplay for you guys and give you guys great quality. Other than that, everything that just happened was just so fast that I can't really explain everything, but it was just such a blast to see everyone once again and hang out with my friends. 
And finally, guys, let's get right into our last topic, which is from September to December. So for our last topic, since I couldn't really specifically say what the topic is, I just put September and December because nothing significant happened in between that time. That's really a big topic, but it's definitely, it has its moments. So for September, that was the start of the school year. So this is when I have to actually focus in school since it's my last year of high school and I'm actually going to be going to university. Plus my marks are going to matter more now because universities look at the grade 12 mark. The thing about it is that since COVID is still a thing, we had to do this new method called synchronous learning, which allowed us to go to school and to do online at the same time, so then we could prevent COVID, but still learn at the same time. Besides school, a great thing that happened is that a game called Among Us gained popularity, and we started playing it around September all the way to December. It's basically like a murder mystery slash mafia game where there's an imposter, and you have to figure out who the imposter is, or you have to basically do tasks in order to escape. It's a simple game and it's really fun to play with a lot of friends, so we played it for months on end. In October, there was three things that happened. The first one was a game called Genshin coming out. It's basically like an MMORPG where it's just very typical. You have a character, you level it up, you go to dungeons, and you get as much loot as you can. The second thing that happened is a really good anime, which is one of my favorite animes now, came out which is called Jujutsu Kaisen. It's about a boy named Itadori Yushi, and he's in a world full of cursed spirits. Basically, he kind of gets in trouble with one, he ends up eating a cursed spirit, becoming one, and he has like the soul of one. Then he has to find like 20 fingers and try to eat them all, so then he could defeat the spirit. But he has two options, either live to find all the spirits, or just die in an instant. So he basically just goes on an adventure, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to go into it, but it's a really good anime. And the third thing is I broke my wrist. I was riding my bike. I kind of fell down, landed on my wrist wrong, and I had to get surgery. And now I have a metal plate inside of me. It's not that bad, to be honest. You know, it just feels kind of weird. You know, I'm not going to lie. Um, I could put some photos right here. Um, I was planning on making a video later on. So if you guys want to see that, just leave a like and uh, comment down below. And yeah, that's basically my October. Um, let's move on to my November. The main parts of November is that the PS5 was going to be coming out on November the 12th, and Cold War was going to be coming out on the 13th, the day after the PS5. Only problem is, is I didn't have money for both. Not to mention, I also broke my wrist. So basically, throughout November, it was kind of like my recovery arc. It was like my training arc. I had to get my wrist back to how it was. So obviously, I had to heal. I first had a cast. Then after the cast, I had a splint, which allowed me to move a little bit more, but that means I had to play Cold War a week later after it came out because I couldn't even touch my controller. But it all paid off because I eventually got to play it, and I really enjoyed Cold War on my PS4 Pro. It played smoothly, and I really enjoyed the zombie experience because it was completely different. And other than that, I just had to recover my wrist for the days and the weeks to come. And this leads us to our final month of December. Now to be honest, December was a really chill month, I'm not gonna lie. I finally got the PS5 guys, which is actually amazing. I played it, I love it, 120 FPS, 4K is insane guys. I haven't properly played it, but it's just the thought of having that in my PS5 is crazy. I also got both my cast and my splint off, so my hand is free and I can move it around. Just not as much as before, so I have to go to physiotherapy, but my hands are in pretty good condition. I also applied to two different universities and I'm just waiting and seeing how it's gonna go. So yeah, and not to mention Attack on Titan, one of the best animes in history, finally came out with its final season and we're just awaiting to see how it goes. So guys, that is my entire 2020 explain. Let's get to the end of the video now. Okay guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Before. I stop it. I just want to say a couple of words. So basically, um, 2020 wasn't the best year. Obviously, we know that. And I feel like the best way how I got through it is um, just kind of living through every single moment, you know, like with quarantine and obviously, you know, the summer and all the way down from September to December, like I just been doing what I've always been doing and just kind of appreciating every single moment. This kind of goes back to this movie I watched a couple of days ago, funny enough, called Soul. Such an amazing movie, so inspirational. And I feel like I can relate with it a lot, is because 
I just been living through the moment. I appreciated every single thing that's happened to me ever since January started and all the way to December ending. And we're only a couple minutes away from the new year and I'm really happy to have lived through every single moment and just appreciate everything that's happened because it makes me happy because every small thing that happens is is such a joy it, the, it's the beauty of life that matters you know and i feel like if we try to look at it from a bigger standpoint you know like if we if we're like i want to do this i want to do that and not really focus on one thing i feel like we're going to be kind of unhappy you know because we're going to be chasing so many different things but if we just sit down and just look around and appreciate for like where we are where we're living what we're doing and then I feel like we'll find happiness in the little things. So guys, without any further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys, is 2021 is way better than 2020. And I'll see you guys in the New Year's. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Peace!